Today we're going to take a look at the Kurt Q20 fifth wheel trailer hitch for the Ford towing prep package. It has a 20,000 pound weight capacity. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2011 and newer Ford Super Duty trucks with the factory installed towing prep package. And on a custom fit part, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use our fit guide, put in your year model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this fifth wheel hitch is designed to mount in your truck bed so that you can tow your fifth wheel trailer. This uses the two jaw locking system up here, provides a nice 360 degree jaw to kingpin contact, gives you less rattle, more security than your slide ball models. The head itself is on a unique spherical axial bearing, which allows easy pivoting of the hitch head, gives you a nice smooth 360 degree movement, not just front to back or side to side tilting, and it gives you built in cushioning to help absorb any road shock. Also on the head here, they have three built in zerk fittings for easy lubrication. There's one over here, one over here for the jaws, and then one right below the jaws for the axial bearing. So you can just stick your grease gun on there and lubricate it. The handle here that operates the dual jaws, it's a single throw handle operation. What you can do is just remove the pin and clip, flap open the latch, and just pull that out and in one motion the jaws will pop open. Now the handle also can be locked, so when you flip that latch back and instead of putting the pin and clip through, the hole is large enough you could put a padlock through there for added security. The padlocks we do sell separately on our website. Now I do want to show you, let me go ahead and put the pin and clip back through here. We're going to show you how the handle operates here in a minute. But the thing I really wanted to mention is this main feature on this hitch is the color-coded lock indicator system on the handle right here. What that does is it'll show you a color and that color will tell you what position your jaws are in. And what's nice is that color is visible from the cab of your truck. So just by turning around and looking what color is showing, it'll tell you what position your jaws are in. So let me spin this around so we can look at the colors and I'll demonstrate it. So we got it all the way around. I think, yeah, you can see it pretty good there. Right here is where you'll be looking. If you notice it's showing green right now, so that's telling you these jaws are locked closed, you're ready to tow. If it would show yellow in there, that means the jaws are open, you're ready to couple. So to get to that, you would just take your pin and clip out, flip open your latch. And when you pull that, if you heard the jaws pop open, and it's showing uh, yellow right there. Yellow, again, the jaws are open, you're ready to couple. Now if it does show red in there, that means the jaws are locked open. It's you can pull away to uncouple. And again, the nice feature of this, because you'll be in the cab, you can look right down, see the color it's showing, and that'll tell you what position the jaws are in. <clears throat> now the other nice thing I want to mention while we got it turned around here, these two pins and clips right here, it makes it very easy removal of the head. You just pull those two clips out, pull the pins out. One person could take the head out, one person could take the center cross member out, and then the legs out. So they do that to for make it easy disassembly by one person. I do want to mention the hitch height adjustment. Spin this around to the side here. And your hitch height adjustment, in other words, when you bolt these legs to your center cross member, there'll be three rows of holes. So it'll give you a four inch hitch height adjustment. And hitch height adjust adjustment is critical because when you go to tow your fifth wheel, you want it to be as level as possible with your tow vehicle. So depending on your application, you can bolt it to where you need on the legs to get you the correct height. The four inch hitch height adjustment range would be from 13 inches to 17 inches. And that's always measured from the truck bed to the top of the hitch head. Now this hitch is constructed of sturdy steel with a nice durable carbide powder coat finish on it. It does come with this nice plastic lube plate. What that does is go onto your kingpin of your fifth wheel, helps it glide smoothly into the hitch during hookup, prevent any messy grease buildup. All the installation hardware is included to install everything. Now for this video I've mounted the legs to the cross member just to show you what it would look like all put together. Also comes with this nice detailed instruction manual. Shows you how to operate it and how to install everything. This is a very fast, easy installation. Basically, you just drop it into the four receiver pucks that are built into your factory underbed package there. And how you would do that is go in the side here, just pop this clip off. You got handles here. You remove those out, rotate them 90 degrees or a quarter of a turn. You'll notice the tab right here will move also. You'll do the same on the other side, and that means they're open. You can drop it right into the pucks. Once they drop in, Turn the handles back to 90 degrees, and that'll turn those tabs to lock it to the truck. Put your pin through the holes, clip it, that'll lock the handles into place. And anything you do, you'll do the same on that side. Once you do that, 
you're all ready to go. To take it out, just reverse that procedure. <clears throat> Again, the application on this is for 2011 and newer Ford Super Duty trucks with the factory installed prep package. Gross towing weight packet or gross towing weight capacity is 20,000 pounds, and you do want to make sure the capacity can be limited to the lowest rated towing component. The vertical load limit on this is 5,000 pounds. We had mentioned the hitch height adjustment of 13 inches to 17 inches. One note I do want to mention is that this fifth wheel hitch is not compatible with rotating pin boxes such as the Reese Sidewinder, Reese Revolution, the fifth Airborne Sidewinder. And the last thing I do want to show you is how the hitch head operates. You can see from our demonstration where it's showing yellow, the handle's open, the jaws are open, so it's ready to couple. So here's an example of the kingpin. The kingpin is what will slide in. You can see as you go to couple, kingpin slides in far enough, the jaws will wrap around it. That handle you can see popped in. It's now showing green, which means your jaws are locked, closed, ready to tow. Flip your latch back over. Take your pin and clip. And slide it through, and you're all locked in, ready to go. And then to uncouple, you just reverse that. Take your pin and clip out, open the jaws to be able to move it right out. But that should do it for the review on the Curt Q20 fifth wheel trailer hitch for the Ford towing prep package with the 20,000 pound weight capacity.